The First Lady of the Republic of Zambia, Her Excellency, Mrs. Mutinta Hishilema. Good afternoon to you all. I'm sure you agree with me that the veterans have spoken. It's unfortunate, it's unfortunately that we had to follow the alphabetical order. The pres our First Lady's President of Namibia should have been the last one to speak. <laughs> Your Excellencies, all First Ladies present, Professor Dr. Frank Stanberg, Haven Camp Mac Foundation Chairman, Dr. Rasa Karage, Chief Executive of Mac Foundation Senator, Mac Foundation Partners and Alumni, the media, Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. Greetings to you all and happy fifth anniversary, Make Foundation. I'm very excited to join you today for the first time as a member of the prestige platform Make Foundation First Ladies Initiative, ninth edition of Make Foundation Africa Asia Luminary. As a member, as a new member, I'm looking forward to working closely with you all to achieve our goals as First Ladies to support our, commun our, con our communities and strengthen our nations. To ensure that we achieve this, Make Foundation appointed me as an ambassador of More Than a Mother campaign of which I'm proud of. Your Excellencies, I'm positive that our efforts will yield positive results, especially that we have this privilege of physical interaction with one another when we all exchange our experiences. My dear sisters, we cannot underestimate the power of collaboration in achieving our agendas in our respective countries. We have to join hands, exchange experiences, and work around the clock in, in close collaboration to continue serving our countries. Therefore, such meetings, either in person or virtual, are very important. Your Excellencies, I must state that since we took office, we have embarked on a joint program with Make Foundation called Educating Linda. To support girl education, we provide scholarship to girls to complete their tertiary education. So far, a total of 22 girls have been captured under this program and have received scholarship to cover their tuition fees of nursing and social programs in universities. This scholarship will continue until they complete their education successfully. This group this program is aligned to my vision of supporting and empowering a girl child. I strongly believe that girl education will help reduce the many challenges women have on vulnerability as they eventually attain economic independence. Ladies and gentlemen, we all know that Girl education is one of the most critical areas of women empowerment. It is also an area that represents some of the distinct examples of discrimination 
women suffer. While educating, girl, while, while educating girls leads our nation to a better future, it helps to strengthen our families, communities, and countries at all levels, and helps end child marriage and improve the status of every member in the family. Therefore, we have broadened our focus area in supporting girl education by also attending to primary and early childhood education. I'm glad to report that as a first initiative, Make Foundation donated 3,000 sets school items to distribute to school to support their education. I must also mention that I'm alive to the fact that Make Foundation has worked with other First Ladies in the previous governments in Zambia before. We are grateful as a country for the support rendered in various programs that they conducted and implemented in various sectors such as media and health. As a country, we can attest that the health sector benefited tremendously from your support through the specialized training of our medical doctors. We will continue to scale up the program with the aim to establish a strong platform of skilled, well-trained healthcare experts in the health sector in my country. I'm sincerely grateful of Make Foundation for your continued support in my country. I'm also eagerly looking forward to a much more strengthened partnership with all of you, your excellencies, in order to better our countries. I thank you so much for your attention.